What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today in Scrap Mechanic and uh, I know it's been a little bit in between videos uh, I've been working on some really really big stuff and this one I kind of wanted to release uh, parts 1 and 2 sort of together um, just to prove that the concept actually worked. This is going to be a big project, it's a very modular project and uh, this little car here is a part of the project but I've been working on a hover city and it's not going to be a massive like skyscraper type thing but I've been making these different sections here, as you can see, and uh, so far we've got a hover control center and a hover parking garage. But basically, let, let's just let's just run up in here real quick. And so you can see there, if we get up into the control room, we've got this nice captain's chair. Now this in and of itself isn't that exciting. I mean, this is, you know, it's, it's pretty simple to build a floating platform. A ton of people have done it before. Um, and I've, I've built hovering ships and stuff like that and it's really it's not that difficult to do It's a relatively simple concept here. Just you know having a floating platform But the cool thing about this hover city is it's got these gates on the side here and Every section has the same gates and so they're all 100% modular You can attach any section to any other section however you want so so far There's only the two sections laid out um, gonna need a lot more sections but you can see there if well I actually this one you can't turn on the hovering because it has to be hooked into the control room So you take your one section you put it on your lift and you can see there all the bridges are down by default So you just say you know what let's say I want this section. We're gonna attach this one uh, And you know what we're gonna put it here put it on this side just like that boom Now we've got two sections you can see attached together and then it's just a matter of connecting purple to purple blue to blue now in terms of wires, um, there's actually a universal gate switch, so it doesn't matter what direction you hook the wires up in. The wires always have to feed from the control center, however, but each other section, it doesn't matter. If I had this section backwards, for example, with those gates, it wouldn't matter. It would be completely okay with either direction, and it will continue to pass the signal on to any other sections. So if I want to attach another section here, I can easily do that. Now it'll sway a bit. Um, the sections don't really, the hover center, the control center has a little bit of thrust that, uh, that it can use, but really it's not that much and uh, it doesn't really do much. But I am planning on building an actual thrust module, which is going to be just basically a, a section that hovers on its own and it'll drag the entire city along with it. And that'll be hooked into the central control system. So this central control system, it actually relays WSAD plus a reset plus the master flight switch. And so... No matter where I where you put that thruster module, the WSAD controls in that seat up in the top of the control center will always move the entire city, no matter how many of those thruster modules you have attached. You make a big city, you attach five, ten modules, it doesn't matter. They're all going to be able to move at the same time in the same direction. It's going to be awesome. So we're not there yet, but of course the question is, well, how do you get into the city when you're on the ground? Well, if you go to the control center, you have one elevator. And this is, you know, a very small elevator. You can see there it doesn't touch the ground floats just above the surface up and down buttons you know you just hit up hit down pretty simple stuff only one floor and now this is for people you know and then you could walk around and uh, of course because we don't have any of these sections connected we're just gonna go here to the control board and boom 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 it, you don't you don't want to lift this one up because you can see, see it tips the whole city that you know you don't want to do that these are uh, all raised and we don't have any risk of falling off you could kind of fall off here but it's pretty it's pretty narrow and I kind of like that it gives you a place to get out if you need to and then of course we'll go to this one we'll flick that one up as well so now you've got these two spaces here and the question of course is well what are these for and well there's the car so I'm, I'm sure people have figured it out you can see there we've got this uh, this other elevator here a little bit beefier it's got double the pistons and it's got this secondary ramp that comes down and we just drive the car up here, kind of get the suspension glitch going. Drive it up onto the platform, hit the up button. And you can see we're still hovering. Now the platforms total can support the weight of two cars with just these two platforms. I've tested it. This individual platform can support the weight of two cars on its own. Um, but once you attach more sections of the city, it inherently gets stronger and more stable. The, the bigger you make this platform, so now you can see here we've got this little, you know, this little buggy so we could be driving around the uh, little hover city. So let's, you know what, let's say we want to weld 
another section. And again, I only have parking garages. If you guys have suggestions for sections that you want me to build, put them down below. Uh, I'm thinking obviously some housing is important. Uh, definitely gonna have like a market or something like that, maybe a warehouse. But, uh, and, and the one thing I do wanna have, because I have a lot of hover ships, there's going to be a hover dock at some point in time. So we'll see how bad the lag gets. And so, boom, we're gonna weld a section to another section even. And again, with these connections, it does not matter. You just flow, it's always flowing out from the control room, but it doesn't matter that it's hooked up to this side or to this other side, it wouldn't make a difference. But you always flow the connection out from the control room. And lo and behold, now our hover city consists of a bunch of sections. Now it's going to lag while it's on the ground. Uh, so once we get, because it's, you know, stuck on rocks and all sorts of other stuff. But once we get up here, should probably consider doing this on a flat world. Um, I think for the next video, I'm going to spawn all this stuff into a flat world just because it will be a lot easier to, uh, to deal with. But we just uh, hit the reset switch here. Everything will reset. Turn on the master power switch. And in a few minutes. All right, so I've moved the hover city to a flat world. It's a little bit easier to manage. Um, the issue now, of course, being when I tried to take off there with the hover city already sitting on a rock at an angle, it took off on an angle and thus it took a while for it to stabilize. And so it just makes more sense to do this on a flat world. So. We now have a few modules hooked up to this control center. When you make it bigger, the frame rate kind of eats it a little hard. But uh, overall, uh, I'm hoping once the big engine update comes out, uh, this will be a lot better when it's attached in pieces. That being said, it's not going to stop me from actually building each of the individual pieces because they're all going to be 100% modular. So it doesn't matter to me if I can't connect them all because um, I can always test them by connecting them to the control center module. But uh, this is a hover city right now consisting of just a ton of parking spaces for no reason. And now I did have to put this extra parking garage over on this side and uh, that's because the platforms do have slightly different weight characteristics and so the hover control center is a little bit fat and uh, as a result you needed to have some parking garages all around it to sort of balance the weight out. But I mean overall, this is pretty freaking awesome. We'll just, we'll just, you know, we'll go here, we'll just spawn in a nice little uh, hover city car. Wherever that's at, right here. I don't know how bad the lag's gonna get on this one, but we'll find out. Oh, you know what? Not that much different. We'll just drive the car up. Up into Hover City. We'll just drive in first person. So definitely need uh, a lot more different sections. And uh, if you guys have any suggestions for sections, put them down in the comments below. But overall, guys, I'm I'm really, really happy with the way this build's going. I can't wait to have an actual, like, full-out hover city and make it sort of like a place where people could bring their hover ships and all that. And, you know, of course, the game requires a few optimization things before that'll happen. I'm really excited with the potential for this build. And uh, I hope you guys are too. And if you want to see more of this and you like this, remember to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. It really, really helps out the channel a lot when you guys subscribe. Um, I really, really appreciate it. And, uh, of course, I love hearing your guys' feedback, so make sure you tell me everything you want to do with this build. And if you absolutely hate it, that's fine. Let me know what you want me to build. Um, overall, though, I'm really, really happy with this. I'm super excited about this. Here we go. Here we go. And... Oh. But overall, guys, you can see very, very simple stuff. It's all controlled by one central control room. Uh, all the uh, thrusters are turned on from that control room. The circuit diameter circuit diagram of course starts to become a little bit of a mess when you start looking at it but it's honestly very simple to set up we're gonna have to build it section by section and we'll, we'll showcase the sections and then i'll start putting them together and actually make a hover city and hopefully we'll get a new game engine and everything will be good as always i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you all next time